I was very fortunate when I was a little girl because my father is a natural born storyteller. Um, maybe it's from the Irish heritage. Um, my father's a poet. Um, and when I, so as a child growing up, he was always writing poetry and crumpling it up and rewriting poetry. And at the dinner table, in addition to being you know, a storyteller and a poet, he's a minister. And I think all those three things are connected quite deeply. Um, so my father would, at, at dinner, uh, talk to us about the roots of words in different languages. And he would talk to us about how you know, language is connected. And that absolutely had a huge influence on me because I went on to earn a degree in college in linguistics. Um, but what I liked most about my dad was um, those stories that he would tell, especially like the gossipy stories about the family. And I loved the way our living room was laid out, the way our house was laid out in the house where I was a little girl. I, they'd put me to bed and I'd wait for my sister to go to sleep and then I would creep down the stairs and sit at the, uh, on the stairs and just listen to him tell stories um, about everybody so I knew all the good dirt. Um, and I think too, you know, being a minister's child, um, which comes with its own structures and restrictions and gives you all kinds of things to rebel against. Um, it, it, my father told a story from the pulpit every Sunday morning, beginning, middle, and end. You know, you have a larger theme, you have specific examples, and if you're really smart, you have some subtext. Make them laugh, make them cry, send them home. And my dad's an expert at that. He's very, very good. So I think I would not be um, a writer if I were not his daughter. Um, my mom, my, my mom's not much into book world. She's always been a little suspicious of my career because she loves me and she wants me to be okay. And she's always suggested when I'm having a rough day that I should really consider nursing school. She wanted me to go to nursing school from the beginning and you get a job, it's good people, it's a clean job, you know. And um, just has never really put her faith in, in publishing. What I loved about mom though and how she strengthened me as an author is when I was a little kid and I would be sent to my room to clean it, which never really happened, I would take a book out and I would you know, lay in the middle of the mess and read. And mother would come storming up the steps. She's a big woman. You could hear her coming a mile away. And I just have so many memories of her opening the door, getting ready to go, and say, oh, you're reading, honey. And she'd like do the debate in her head. And she said, well, finish the chapter. And then you can clean it up. So my room was never cleaned. <laughs>